Hello and welcome to Cutter Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV Upper Mississippi River Valley and we are uh, in the middle of spring here still. It's been just a little bit since we've recorded an episode. If you've been following along in real time, it's been a couple of months I think. Uh, I've lost track. We've had so much going on in uh, our personal lives here, my family and I. And uh, unfortunately, it meant a small uh, stop in our uh, videos, a, a reduction in frequency, if you will. But we are back, and I'm looking forward to not only continuing this series, but we've got some new stuff in the works that we've had in the works for a while now uh, that we're going to be getting back to here shortly. Uh, lots of new content coming out so stay tuned however we've got to get this farm back on track here i'm gonna fold up this auger we were refilling uh, the planter here now last episode when we left off i believe i had uh been out in the other big field here across the way and we moved the planting setup over here to start putting in some additional corn in this field we're gonna go full in on our cows this year so everything is corn or hay related products which should hopefully allow us to keep up with the feed situation uh, we got to a point after we upgraded to the enhanced uh, animal mod that we were running out of feed uh, right quick here on the farm and we've been purchasing a lot of uh, silage and hay bales to get us through winter into spring now luckily now that we're into spring i think that we're uh, gonna be able to meet both our silage and our uh hay needs from the fields that we've got going we've got lots of grass fields on the farm now so i'm gonna go ahead and just get this semi out of the way bring it back up to the farm i don't think i'm gonna need to put any more seed in the planter here i think filling it up there is gonna be enough to uh, allow us to finish this field we might have to bring the nurse trailer out here though and top off our uh, liquid fertilizer that we've got in the planter there but we'll worry about that in just a little bit here i am uh realizing that it's been so long since we've played i'm getting used to using the steering wheel and everything here yet again get uh, zoomed in here i don't know why i'm so zoomed out i have a tendency to play really zoomed out most of the time uh we probably should have tarped this truck up before we took off i think we've got the electric tarp closer on here but uh doesn't seem to be working there we go so let's get this up to the farmyard and take a look at the other jobs we got going on we've got a lot of pieces of equipment uh moving around the farm today i think the first thing we got to do is we've got that bale trailer sitting out there we have managed to uh cut and bale up a couple of our smaller fields here around the farm as you can see up ahead of me here i've got the baler going in this little field next to our biogas plant and way off in the distance there we've got the mower uh cutting some hay for us on that uh, field up on the north side of the map there so let me just see if i can get this thing up into the yard here I haven't uh, been in the game or uh, doing anything here for a little bit, so I'm noticing just the ever smallest amount of stuttering in my frame rates as we get up in the yard and stuff for the first time here. Hopefully that smooths out on its own. We've uh, not had the game open for a while, so sometimes FarmSim has to rebuild its uh, shader cache and different things like that as you're going. Uh, we've got these harvestors filling up with the hay and the silage and stuff that we've been doing uh, i i still need to check for an update to unit convert here it looks like we've got some label issues it's been months since i've uh, checked on any of my mod updates so i'm sure there's something out there now but if we just pop this open here and take a look you can see we've got a fair amount of hay that we put in here already just a little bit of silage which i think we purchased and that's being turned into tmr right now um, so we're gonna keep making hay out of all the smaller fields and then if we look at the map here and i turn on grass you can see this 
big combination of fields three and six we've turned into a grass field as well. We're gonna actually do haylage out of this. So we're gonna cut it as grass. We're gonna get the conditioner off of the mower. We're gonna bring all of this in as haylage. I think between taking hay off of these four smaller fields and then using haylage off of this first cut here, that'll give me enough uh, silage and hay combination to get us through to the next cutting of hay, which will do hay for everything for the next two cuts of the year here. And I'm hoping that that is going to set us up perfectly to get through the next year here on the farm. So let's go ahead and jog down the road here and we're gonna grab that pickup with the bales on it. And we've got 22 bales that came off of this little field here. We've left a little bit of uh, trash here on the end of the field. We could have done a better job with the baler, but I didn't notice it until just now. Kind of lazy, don't want to drive it back over here. We'll be back in a little while to do another cutting on that field. I think I can get three cuts uh, out of a given field per year right now with how things are set up. Maybe four, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll keep going. Now I am pretty full, but I'm gonna go ahead and just head out into this field and I'm gonna see if I can grab all the bales off of this field before I have to go and uh, unload this bale trailer. There shouldn't be that many. This is a pretty small field now, especially since we shortened it up to put the biogas plant over there, uh, which if you remember, right, I'm trying to remember some of this stuff myself. So I'm gonna remind you guys as I remind myself, but I think I've heavily edited that biogas plant in order to increase capacities uh, rather than having to place multiples down. Uh, and it's been working out really well for us. I've really enjoyed that. And would you look at that? We've just perfectly loaded up all those bales. I guess there's a couple on the bale or two that we could have got, but I'll take it. So let's go ahead and put this thing into transport mode. I'm gonna drive it right up here in front of our harvestor. And we're gonna see if I can remember how to unload these bales if i'm not mistaken once i'm in transport mode i can just push y to go into unload mode drag them on over here push y again to drop them down on the ground and uh, there we go we are now officially unloading so let's go ahead and get this truck out of the way and I am gonna need this truck in just a few minutes to go ahead and collect bales in the next field. But before we can do that, we've gotta get the baler going. So I was gonna park it there in the grass out of the way uh, until I realized I might as well just drive it on over here to the other field uh, so that we can have everything in position here for ourselves. So let's uh, get this thing down the road and we'll jump back up here and grab the baler. It looks like our mower is just about done here. I'm not sure where he's backing up to, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. So I'm gonna put this bale trailer right down here. It should be nice and out of the way on the uh, bottom side of this field. And then we'll run back. Uh, actually, let's run over here. As long as I'm right next to this guy, we're going to bring up a course play and I'm gonna copy this course so that when I bring the baler over here, I can quite easily get that going again. And I'll go ahead and paste that new course in here and I can close that window for a minute. I think what I'll do is we'll drive this over here by the harvester. I'm gonna unload these two bales uh, real quick. No sense dragging them all the way over to the field when where I need to put them is right here in this harvester. And then we can go and get started on baling. Now I am gonna need to push the stacks of bales into the zone. I almost hate doing it this way, but I'm gonna use super strength anyway. I might as well just uh, give them a little bit of a nudge here with the tractor. There we go. And uh, we'll pull forward just a smidge here and get both of those unloaded. Hopefully they're in the zone. And then we'll drag this a uh, piece of equipment over to the other field here and we'll get it going. AI worker Philip completed their task. That's gotta be the swather here, which is perfect because I'll be able to start this guy off 
and then I'll be right next to it to grab the swather and we'll bring it over and get started on cutting this huge grass field. Uh, I do have to drop that conditioner off though. I guess we can do that field side. Shouldn't be a, a huge deal to drop that off, I hope. We'll go ahead and grab the first waypoint here on this and we should be close enough. Off it goes. And with that guy going, let's go ahead and run across the way here. And let's grab the swather. I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. I don't need that temporary course anymore. Fire on up and we'll get across to the other field here. Now, I've got to remember how to disconnect this uh, conditioner. I don't remember if I've got manual attach on here either. That might be a, a small consideration. If I remember right, I had some problems getting this thing taken apart last time with manual attach. I can always disable it, I suppose. Um, I'm going to guess that it's the front most connection. I can't really recall. Here we go. Uh, must lower the implement first. Okay, lowering disconnecting yes we have disconnected now I'm gonna raise this up and try and just back out of here no maybe I can drive over it there we go okay now I've mucked this thing all up by moving it around and such I'm gonna move it out of the way a little bit here I'm gonna put it in this grass where I'm sure to lose track of it there's some arrows on it somewhere I thought that indicate which direction it needs to go for uh, installing it. Now I'm not seeing those right now. We'll figure that out next time when we need to put it back. I'm sure that it uh, won't be a problem. If I say it confidently, I'm not sure that makes it true, but we'll hope. Uh, let's create a job and I need a field position. I'm going to set it right down here. Generate look at the size of that course oh my goodness this is a giant field and uh, i feel like my frame rate just took a drop when we loaded up this giant course in course play hopefully that's not going to be a thing and it'll uh, sort itself out here momentarily um first waypoint let's see here looking good and that is indeed grass all right that's exactly what we want, because now we'll be able to take that and turn it into haylage. And let's just jump back over here. I wanted to check on our planting situation again, since it's been just a little bit since we got started on that. It looks good. We're knocking out the acres. We're going to run out of that liquid fertilizer here pretty soon, though. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and jump back over to the pickup and my plan is to go get that uh, nurse trailer we've got over on the farm and take that and see if we can pick up a little bit of liquid fertilizer and get this thing uh, refilled out in the field the planter that is um, I'm sure that trailer is gonna be just fine there on that steep incline like that um, I'm not nervous at all that it'll just slide down the hill into the lake here that would be a total disaster and i have to remember where on the farm i left that nurse trailer i think it's over here in this uh shed over here i think this has kind of turned into my uh chemical products and stuff uh storage area there we are right where i left it I hope it's got some liquid fertilizer in it. If it doesn't, we may have to uh, purchase some, have it delivered up here to the farm. All right, we're all hooked up, but there is no liquid fertilizer in this thing, unfortunately. So let me, whoa. <clears throat> Crash into everything. So let me take this on out of here and I wanted to just run over to the other shed and see what we've got left over there because I think I might have some liquid fertilizer in the sprayer because we've been using the sprayer to fertilize our grass uh, from time to time. 
Although, in looking back, I could probably be using the manure to do that. But I do have some in there, so let's go ahead. I pushed I. Uh, I was expecting that to drop a chest of uh, stuff out here. A chest, a crate, a pallet. There it is. We have a uh, partial pallet of liquid fertilizer here that we can toss into the trailer. Now this trailer, if I'm not mistaken, has to be filled on this side. There we go. 4%, that's nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some money. We haven't looked at our money situation yet in this episode. As you can see, we're at uh, $665,000 in debt. We're gonna crank that up a little bit here. We'll go all the way up to 700 just to give me some operating uh, cash for the episode. And let's go ahead and grab some liquid fertilizer. I'm going to need, I think, at least two of these. We're going to buy two of these. And of course, our uh, sell point is over here in front of the harvest store. Oh my goodness. And of course, our sell point is over here in front of the harvest store because we were purchasing bales and it was convenient for us to have them uh, show up right here. That's all right. We can drive over here to fill up the tank just as easily and we'll start the next one while that's going i might as well hop out and move these bales up here perfect all right well let's get going out to this field i'm almost positive that that message i saw just a moment ago was our planter getting us stopped off uh, because it finally ran out of fertilizer so we're gonna have to keep ourselves moving if we want all of these different workers that we've got to keep doing their thing. I really want to keep an eye on that baler and get him moved over to the grass field as fast as possible. Now, realistically, I probably wouldn't bale the grass if I was just immediately going to put it into a bunk or something for haylage. However, it's the easiest way I've got to move the material off of the field right now and that tractor's not doing anything else for us at the moment anyway and it'd be a little bit more of a hassle to get the chopper set up to uh handle uh picking up the grass and throwing it into one of the trailers right now i think so i do think i am gonna bail it uh, for purposes of moving it into the harvest stores. I think that's going to be my easiest option. I can't recall the best way to fill this uh, tractor up with the liquid fertilizer. I think I have a liquid tank on both the planter and the tractor itself. So I'm going to try and get right up next to the tractor with this trailer and see if it unloads. I can't remember if the trailer has a... A fill zone on both sides of it or if it's only on one side I don't know we're gonna figure this out we're gonna park that there I'm gonna leave it running though because I do think I need to leave it running and we're gonna hop over here and I'm going to push I'm gonna turn it on and then we're gonna push R to reload no maybe no I think I've gotta like turn this trailer on or something let me see uh, loading filter full only, unloading side right. Okay, can I do unloading side left? Start pump B. All right, that's started. Now I think I need to jump into the 8RX and, oops, uh, with the front selected, I'm gonna go all the way up here and see if I get a thing for filling the back tanks. No? Let's hop out and jump back into the truck here. Uh, let me see. Unloading side. Maybe I had it on the wrong or the right side. Well, I've switched sides. Now let's get over here and see if I get a refill. No? Let's try the other side real quick. All right, well here I've got the overloading for liquid fertilizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It is an overload from this trailer. I can never remember how this works. I really like that it's uh, triggered from the trailer itself. 
a little bit more realistic that way. Uh, but it always confuses me when I haven't used a mod for a while like this. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and pull over here. I'm just, I was hoping that I could also put some into that trailer, or into the heat trailer, into the planter directly, but I'm not seeing any option when I drive by that. Oops, we bumped the track there a little bit. So I th guess we're going to call that good enough and get this pickup out of the way so that I can get the planter set up. So I'm going to turn off that annoying motor. There we go. And let's jump back up into here. As you can see, we didn't quite fill up our liquid fertilizer capacity. I think the tanks on the tractor are full now, but not the uh, tank on the planter itself. So I don't know if that's an issue with the planter, if that's an issue with the uh, trailer mod. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out at some point. It's not super important, though, because we should have more than enough fertilizer to finish this job off. So I'm going to go ahead and start this off on nearest waypoint. Should be good. This thing takes forever to unfold. So we'll jump back in the truck here and get this brought back up to the farm. I'm not sure if we're going to need this for something else right now or if I'm going to empty it out. I don't know what the plan is. So I'm going to leave it out in the yard because that always makes sense. And I just want to get right back out to the field with the um, trailer and the bales and get this hooked back up before I forget what we're supposed to be doing with it. I have a tendency to leave equipment all over the place and then I immediately need it somewhere else for another job and I'm just not uh, thinking about what I'm working on. And it just wastes a lot of time. So we're trying to focus our mind a little bit here on what we're working on and getting jobs done. And the job of the day is generating a feed for those cows. We need a lot of feed. Now, it looks like the baler is almost done, but not quite. It's got a couple more rounds up here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the bales that are available because by the time I'm done, Picking up these bales, I think the baler will actually be done. And I can go ahead and get that moved over to the grass field. And we'll be ready to really start making all the components we need for feed. Uh, that silage is going to take a minute to catch up with us in the harvest store. Uh, take a little bit to ferment there. And I think that... Uh, once we get that first load of grass bales going, we're going to be set and able to start moving time forward. I believe all of our uh, dairy pens have enough food for me to move the clock forward by a day. We're currently on, I don't even remember, uh, probably four uh, day months. So each day is a, a week of time, essentially. And I think we've got enough to move forward by one day, not even a whole month, but a day uh, before we run out of feed right now. Now I'm going to be sort of in the way here. I'm going to try and turn around real quick and get out of the way here. Rocking the truck back and forth a little bit. There we go. And I'm just looking. We've got a trip up, a trip back, and we'll end up on that little short row there in just a second. Perfect. Just making sure it looks like our planter is doing fine after the refill. And the mower is on, I think, round four of the headlands. I think we've only got four rounds of headlands uh, set up on this course. So almost to the point where it's going to start working on up and down rows. This is going to be an astronomical amount of grass. Realistically, I should probably get a rake or something in here, but uh, honestly, it kind of works just fine running the baler behind the mower. It's a little bit slower than the mower, which is actually better than if it was faster than the mower, I think. So we'll I'll be letting that stuff run here. Uh, the mower or the baler is just on its last little bit here. So let me uh, go ahead. We'll take over here and finish off the last few feet of this uh, mowing, mowing, baling. I did it again. I said it twice that way. We've got to uh, remember our jobs here. Now, I have the steering wheel plugged in, and every once in a while when I'm switching course play and stuff around, I reach up and use the keyboard to do something, and then the steering wheel's still at an angle, and it's like fighting with the keys back and forth here. 
perfect. All right, we've got this done. I'm gonna kill this course off. I was just in the mower. I should have uh, set it up so that I could copy that course easily, uh, but I did not think of it. So let's get over here into the other field. Uh, I should drop these bales off as well uh, so that the bale trailer can pick them up. Let me see if I can do that. There's one bale at least dropped out. I've got 98% hay. Um, can we actually pick up a little bit of this and get to 100% just to make another bale? That's 100%, but it's not technically... There we go, a new bale. Now it is. And we'll dump that one out too. Perfect. Two new bales sitting here, ready to go. And then if I jump over here, we can copy the course and then jump right back into the 4440. And we should be good to start the course. Let me just get across the road here. And our first waypoint is down here a little ways. Perfect. And off it goes. Should work out splendidly which leaves me with uh, grabbing those two bales that we uh, left at the other end of the field with the old uh, pickup here and heading those back up to the silos. I want to go ahead and get the rest of this hay dropped off and then we can start moving grass bales eventually. Uh, AI worker Philip is completing their task. Well, since I can see both the mower and the baler moving here, and that must mean we're done planting corn. So we may have to pick up another field here uh, this year. We've got the ability to take out quite a bit of a loan still, uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still like on the fence about that, so we might wait just a little bit uh, before we buy any more land. We might try to make it through this year uh, without buying anything. I would love to end this year with uh, paying off the last of our debt and being 100% out of debt on the farm. So we'll see if we can make that the goal for this year and, and stop spending more money. Sometimes you gotta spend money to make money, but I think right now I wanna just uh, make some money. And we'll drop those down right there. And we'll put this back in operating position and get it out there in the field. Uh, it's going to take a while for the baler to actually get ahead of us here. So I think what we'll do, we'll put this out in the field and then we'll check in on our animals. We'll make a batch of feed and figure out which, uh, which barn needs feed the most right now. We'll get this thing filling up. I don't know if I've got enough to uh, make a full batch. Take a quick look here. It looks like we still, we're still making some. We still got a little silage and a bunch of hay in here now, which is great. If we take a look at the animals, this would be, I can't even remember, barn A, maybe, uh, which has got enough for one day. Man, I can't believe we need almost 10 million liters of food a year. And then in uh, this barn, which I think is barn C, B? I think this is the small barn right next to us. I can't remember. We've got 70,000 and 143 for a day. So this one's got almost two days. Not quite. This one's got more than a day. And this one is almost at exactly a day. So 233. Let's figure out if we can uh, remember which one of these is which. So I got to start this thing up. And we didn't quite get a full mix of... TMR here in this tractor. Oh, and that's right, we're using the new tractor that came out with the Platinum uh, Edition here, or whatever the, the newest edition of Farm Sim is. Uh, they released these as, I think, a DLC. I think you had to pay a couple bucks to get these. Farm Sim was kind enough to send me a code for them, though. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into, this is Barn A? and see if this is the one that's got 233,000 uh, liters of feed. The easiest way to see that, I guess, is to start feeding and see if this number is going up at all. It doesn't appear to be. This number is going up, so that's all right. We'll uh, just put it in here since we're here, and now we know uh, this middle one is barn A, which would make this barn B, and then this is that little uh, barn over by the harvest stores. 
And then just taking a look at our slurry situation, we did finally catch up on slurry in all of these barns. So they're pretty well emptied, which means that the biogas plant is pretty well full of slurry, which is great. We're making a digestate here for uh, using on our fields, which would be good. And I think I took the knives off of the back of the slurry spreader, which is giving us a wider spread pattern and it lets me spread it on our grass fields. So now that we've started mowing these grass fields, we're gonna need to uh, go through and put down a little bit more slurry on those to maximize our yield. So I think that'll be the next job that we dive into here as we get the uh everything else is wrapped up i think we've got the mowing is under uh control that's going to be going for quite some time and if we jump out here that was indeed the planter that finished up out in the, this other field so we don't need that course anymore and i don't think uh we have any more planting to do right now if we take a quick look at the map at all of our own fields we own these two which are now grass and corn we own this one down here which is also a huge corn field I think we're pretty well done right now. So I'm going to go ahead and run this equipment back up to the farm here uh, since we don't have anything else to work on with it in the moment. And I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Next episode, we'll be diving into a little bit of manure spreading over on our grass fields. See if we can remember how all that stuff is working. And then we'll be uh, jumping into, I don't know what's going to come next in summer here. We've got a lot of grass work ahead of us, so we may look into what we can do to optimize that a little bit. Uh, if you've got any ideas on uh, ways to speed up our grass work, let me know. I guess I could get a bigger, better mowing setup or multiple mowers going out in that field or something rather than using the swather that we've got now. The swather works great because it's a, a single pass operation to get to hay. But if I'm going to do more of the uh, haylage type stuff, we might need to uh, look at getting some different equipment on the farm for that. And I think I told myself that I was going to switch some of these grass fields out for like clover or alfalfa or something. Uh, but we're running on an old original version of this map. And when I tried to upgrade the map to the later versions, which I think contained some fixes for uh, how those crops uh, work on the map, we ran into a bunch of problems, so I didn't end up upgrading. So maybe that's why I'm doing grass. I do apologize, folks. I know uh, I've been all over the place with the uh, last several episodes in this series with how long it has passed in real life between uh, me recording some of these episodes. Uh, I'm trying to remind myself of uh, what's going on on this farm. However, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And uh, we'll be back for more new content here uh, very soon. I'm uh, hoping to get back into uh, posting uh, five days a week on uh, Monday through Friday with uh, episodes uh, on some different stuff. We'll be running uh, UMRV probably uh, two to three days a week, though, uh, until we get to uh, its uh, natural conclusion, which I'm not sure where that's going to be at this point. I'm having a lot of fun on this map. However, that's going to be all for today. Kedrick out.